Problem 2. Absolute function. Is the function fx equal to mod of x or absolute value of x for all x in real numbers continuous? Let's first plot the curve. It's very easy to plot. This is the y-axis, the x-axis. fx, oh, y equal to fx, and this is x fx is mod of x we also write it as absolute value of x we consider two cases now absolute value of x always gives answer the value as the positive part of x so if x is any way greater than or equal to zero which is it's positive mod of x is just x and if x is negative since mod of x releases or gives the value as the positive part of x, the answer is minus x. Example, if x is minus 5, then mod of x will release the answer as 5, which is minus of minus 5. All right. So what will be the curve? The curve will look like, like this, where the part for x greater than or equal to 0 is just the mirror of the part for uh, x less than 0. Now, an intuitive argument for continuity, we already discussed, continuous functions are smooth functions. Basically, if you have a guy who wants to slide on the curve, can slide on the curve without dropping out of the hole at any portion of the curve, then the function is continuous. Because if the function is not continuous, there will be some hole here, and the person won't be able to slide. He will just drop out of the hole. So that doesn't seem to be here. The function seems to be uh, nicely smooth. Uh, hence, we can say it is continuous. But uh, let's uh, that argument won't work in the examinations. So we'll go for a more rigorous one. So rigorously, this function fx is said to be continuous at x equal to a if limit at x equal to a exists which means the left hand side limit and the right hand side limit exists are and are equal and all of these are equal to the value of the function at point a we will say that this function is continuous for all x's if this relation holds true for all a in real numbers okay so now we have basically three cases because we see one behavior for all x greater than zero another behavior for all x less than zero and x equal to zero is a peculiar point okay so case a if i pick a case capital a sorry if i pick a bigger than zero okay then you know it's somewhere here all right so i have to compute the limits so let's compute the left hand side limit limit of x going to a plus fx which is limit of h tending to 0 of f of a plus h now a plus h is greater than 0 so mod of a plus h will be a plus h a is a constant limit of h tending to 0 h which is a also limit of x a minus fx this is the left hand side limit will be h is small enough so a minus h will still, still be greater than 0 hence this is equal to limit of h going to 0 a minus h which is still a so notice that both the right hand side limit and left hand side limit are equal hence limit exists and by the way what are they equal to a which is nothing but equal to f of a because a is greater than zero so this relation holds for all a greater than zero similarly we can also prove it for case b where a is less than zero it's just the same arguments now let's consider the last case case c where a is equal to zero and again we'll consider two limits limit of um, x going to zero plus mm, sorry i have less space here 
f of x again this will be limit of h tending to 0 of absolute value of h because that's the definition or I skip the step here so this will be f of h then h is positive so more absolute value of h will be h and this is 0 similarly you can very easily show that this is also equal to if x going to 0 minus of fx because this will be equal to limit of h going to 0 and f f of h will x is minus h so f of minus h and f of minus h is mod of minus h which is h and limit of h going to 0 of h is 0 again so both right hand side limit and the left hand side limit they exist they are equal so limit exists and that is equal to 0 which by the way also happens to be f0 so by this argument we conclude that for all a in r we have limit of x going to a fx is equal to fa and that proves that the function mod x is continuous